How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to show you the best iOS 16 hidden features. So today I'm not going to show you the main new features, the main changes that Apple showed on their keynote. No, no, no. This video is for the secret ones, the hidden new features in iOS 16. And trust me, those are more exciting than the main ones. You're going to love this. So let's get started and let's talk about unlocking your iPhone sideways. So now in iOS 16, you can actually use Face ID sideways, just like on the iPad. So then if we're using it like that, and if I point to my face and unlock, it will unlock sideways, as you just saw. I'm gonna do it once again, so it's completely locked, point to my face, and then as you can see, completely sideways. Now let's go to settings, and then sounds and haptics, and scroll down a little bit until we see keyboard feedback. This is so cool. If we tap on that, now we have the option to activate haptic keyboard. That's right, now in iOS 16, for the first time, Apple enabled haptic feedback on the keyboard. So you can do this, it's exactly what you're thinking about. So as you open anything and as you type, anything on your keyboard, you will feel the haptic feedback just like you have in Android, for example. And trust me, this is way better. This is so much better than Android just because haptics on the iPhone is perfect. So try it out. You have to try it out. This is so cool. I've been using it since I updated to iOS 16 and I'm not disabling it. It's super refined. It's so sophisticated. I love it. Now let's head back to settings and then tap on Wi-Fi, and now we can finally check the password of the Wi-Fi network we're connected to. All you have to do is tap on the little I right next to the network you're connected to, and as you can see here, now we have password right here. And as we tap on that, it'll ask us to authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID, and then it'll show the password. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna tap here, and I'm just gonna block my password, so you don't see it because it's a private thing, right? And as you can see here, it's showing my Wi-Fi password. So cool, I can easily copy and paste anywhere else, share with a friend, this is amazing. Now let's talk about locking notes. Let me open my notes app, and as you can see here, I have a task note, and if I wanna lock the note, it's super easy. I tap on the three dots, and then I can easily lock it. And everyone knows that I can authenticate with Face ID. But the thing is, in iOS 16, you can choose to use your notes password or you can use your iPhone password. Let me show you. So if we go here to settings and we scroll down all the way down until we see notes, and then we scroll until we see password. As you can see here, we have two possibilities, two password methods. So we have a custom password, and that's your notes password that you have created, and everyone hates it because we forget it, and it's super annoying because we can't reset it. Or we can use the device passcode, and that's your lock screen passcode. And of course, Face ID. So then if you want to, you can use your device passcode to lock your notes, which is much better. We don't forget. We always know. And of course, we can use Face ID and Touch ID on top of that. So super safe and we'll never forget. Still talking about notes, now we have Quick Notes in iOS 16 and we can open it anywhere. We can create a new Quick Note anywhere. Let me show you. So if you go back to settings, and we scroll down until we see control center. And now we have a new option, which is quick note. So as you can see, we can add a new quick note to our control center. And from now on, absolutely anywhere on your iPhone, you can bring down control center, tap here on quick note, and this will open a quick note for you anywhere. This is so, so cool. If you are anywhere on your iPhone, doesn't matter what you're doing, you can always do this and this, and you have a quick note so convenient. Now let's talk about mail, so let me open it up and let's pretend I'm composing a new mail here and I want to send to somebody, but I don't want to send it now. So what I can do is simply tap and hold on the blue send button and as I tap and hold I have a new option. We can choose to send now, to send 9 p.m. tonight, to send 9 p.m. tomorrow, 
to send later. So we have full customization here on when we want to send a new mail. And this can be extremely helpful if you want to send a mail, for example, first thing in the morning and you want the other person to believe that you sent it at that moment. Of course, as you tap on send later, you can fully customize when and exactly what time you want the email to be sent. And as you tap on done, it'll send the email. Now let's talk about privacy. So I'm gonna open my camera app and then I'm gonna leave the app and then let me open Instagram and let me actually go ahead here and open up the camera as well. As you can see, that's you. And if we pull down the control center and we tap here right there at the top where we can see a ton of little icons right there, as you can see, it'll show all of the apps that are using our location, camera, microphone, and more. So as you can see here, privacy, Instagram, it used the camera recently, it used my location recently, and same thing with the camera app. So again, camera, microphone, and location. So you can easily see what apps are using instantly and it's very good for privacy. I really like this feature. iOS 16 has a new redesigned video player. So let me show you, for example, playing a video here in Safari. And as I tap on play and I put it in full screen, as you can see here, this is the new video player in iOS 16. So there's a new design and all that. So the handles uh, look really cool and neat, just like in uh, Apple Music. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but one of the coolest features and hidden features I like in this new video player is that you can slide to the right or to the left if you wanna skip 10 seconds. So if I slide to the left, I'm gonna go back 10 seconds. Same thing here as you can see, and moving forwards, I'm moving forward 10 seconds and so on and so on. So as you guys can see here, very cool little gesture that I absolutely love in the new video player in iOS 16. Now let's go to messages and this is awesome if you like voice messages. So right here we have this new icon with this little voice message and if you tap here, as you can see, you can easily start recording and send a new voice message because now you can just tap and then it'll start recording. You don't have to hold, you don't have to do any gestures. This has always been a very bad thing in iMessage. So now you can simply go ahead and speak your mind. And if you wanna stop it, all you have to do is tap once again. And then as you can see here, it will create the voice message and it will have a dedicated send button. You can send it and then there you go, perfect much better than before, and now you can even scrub, which you couldn't do back in iOS 15. So as you tap on play, you can easily scrub here through the message. So you can go backwards and forwards, which is pretty basic, but you couldn't do in iOS 15. Now let's talk about setting an image as your wallpaper. So as we tap here on photos, uh, let's say I wanna put this picture right here of my dog as my iPhone wallpaper. Before iOS 16, it was complicated, it would resize and then it would be completely messed up and it was pretty difficult to put any image as your iPhone wallpaper. Now, it's super simple. All you have to do is tap on the photo and then tap on edit and then let it load. Sometimes it takes a while. In this case, it's downloading the photo. And right here, I can simply tap on this icon right here, which is like crop and readjust icon. And then right there at the top, as you can see, where I can choose a format. And now we have wallpaper right here, right down below. So then with this wallpaper edit option, we can easily go ahead, resize, do whatever you want, zoom in, zoom out, and then tap on done. And as you can see here, it's perfectly fit for my iPhone, for a iPhone wallpaper. Now let's talk about a new charging notification called charging on hold. It'll look something like this. I've never seen it personally on my iPhone and I've been using iOS 16 since it was released, so like last week. And this notification will say charging on hold, charging will resume when iPhone returns to normal temperature. So as you can imagine, this is an indication that your iPhone is too hot while charging and then charging will just stop. And this may be caused by external temperature, maybe your case, 
But regardless of the reason, this is a very good thing that the iPhone will let you know that it has stopped charging because it's too hot. So you have to go ahead and try to cool your iPhone down. Of course, don't put it in the fridge or freezer or anything like that. Just shield it from the sun or maybe remove your case. Now, let me show you a quick Easter egg that I really like in iOS 16. Now, when you have your AirPods connected and you're listening to anything, for example, uh, to a song in Apple Music or maybe a YouTube video, as you can see here, there's this new little icon representing your AirPods. In this case, my AirPods Pro. So then as I tap on that, that's the new icon representing exactly the headphones I'm using right now keep in mind that this will only work this customized icon right here with airpods and with beats headphones if you're not using airpods or beats it'll just show you a generic icon so that's it that's literally it the best the most incredible the most awesome hidden and secret features in ios 16. hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one as usual bye bye